and bean punchers. So today I'm going to show you how to draw blood from someone's hands. You want to make sure that you always have your tools, of course. Tourniquets, your best friend. So when you place the tourniquet on someone's hands, you want to make sure that you're at least two inches away from the site where you'll be drawing blood from. Make sure it's nice and tight. You want to be at least two inches. Go ahead, palpate the vein, right? See exactly where you want to go. Very important. Palpating means you're filling the skin. All right, turn it, kick on, stay on for one minute. So we have to remove this. All right, position yourself properly, always. Ask the patient to create a fist. Go ahead and place the tunica on the patient. You could feel for the vein one more last time, just to make sure you know where you're going. Get your tools together. This tunica is only allowed to stay on for one minute. So when you wipe the person with alcohol, you want to make sure you go in a circular motion during vein punchers. Have the person slant their hands down a little bit. Then you want to go ahead and anchor the vein. All right, so you can use your thumb just to hold the vein. The veins on the hands roll a lot, so you really want to anchor that. You want to make sure you're going at least 10 to 15 degrees. Once you see the flash, then go ahead and put the ETS tube in the holder and start collecting the patient's blood. Remove the tourniquet once the blood starts flowing. Always make sure you place a gauze on top of the needle and then pull it out. Tell the patient to hold the gauze and you instantly... Drop the needle into the sharps container.